Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another Sunday, which means another Nars Watches, Tamadachi Wamaha! Yes, and this week we are, we're, we're looking at an episode that I've already mentioned in my analysis thing, the episodes that make a break brown is one, as one that I didn't really like and actually is the reason that I don't like Rainbow Dash or Rarity, but maybe the Japanese can make it better. Or maybe they'll make it worse. At least there's no song in this one, so it's not like they can fuck that one up. Unless they somehow put one in here. I'm kind of curious to what Flutter Yay will sound like though, so yeah. Let's, uh, let's listen. Let's, let's have a go at it, shall we? Three, two, one, go! Yeah. Go! Busting with energy! Screaming louder! Passion! What? She's not even say she's not even saying words. She's like She's not even using her vocal cords. She's using her fucking. She's exhaling. She's not speaking. She's exhaling. Hey, hey, hey. That's what she's doing. She's not even saying words. She's exhaling. The fuck? I keep replacing my. I keep re repeating myself. I'm sorry. Also, the. Also, the Japanese version, the Japanese lyrics in this version of the theme song are at least singable without the fucking bullshit. It's no fun being alone, it's boring. Gonna finish off this coke before it's. Yes. So, I noticed they're using a lot of clips from Sonic Rainboom. They're using a lot of clips, sound clips from Sonic Rainboom in, in this opening. I just realized it's weird. Did the Japanese really, really like Sonic Rainboom? Because I hope not. Because Sonic Rainboom sucks! It sucks! Because they're. Because they're friends. They're supposed to be friends, but they don't act like friends at all. Like <laughs> Rarity and fucking Rainbow. Da Rar Rarity is a fucking bitch all the way through, and nobody like straight up sells Rarity. Yo, motherfucker, cut this shit out. Cut that shit out. Cause that's what you should do. Oh look, they kept the same title. They just put a fucking exclamation point at the end. You know, another thing about it, what if Fluttershy wasn't going like, yay, because she didn't want to be loud? What if she just really secretly fucking hates Rainbow Dash? Like, really, really hates her, so she's like, yay, go Rainbow Dash. Go, you bitch. It's like, in the flashback, she was a little bit antagonistic towards Fluttershy, and we do know that Fluttershy can do passive-aggressive really well. That passive-aggression, though. Oh my, is she dead? She owes me money. Fuck your books, motherfucker! Fuck your books! How did that knock every book off the shelf? Did she just ricochet? It was really good how you spun the clouds around. You weren't boring or stupid looking at all. So see, they built an entire city where no one else could go. That's some, that's some hidden racism. 
Mm. Like... Isn't it though? It's like... Racist. It's like, because they've known each other since the start, basically. They, they knew each other before they founded Equestria, if the play in Hearthswarming Eve is correct. So... It's like, hey, you guys, we're all united and all, but we're gonna make a city where you guys can't fucking go, okay? Okay, cool. And then unicorns are like, well, we live on a mountain, so really anyone can get here, but it's extremely easy for Pekasai to get here. Earth ponies, you gotta walk up a mountain, but that's fine. And Earth ponies are like, we're, we're just fucking on the ground, you guys. If you want to come for a visit, fucking do it. Just do it. We all working on the farm, but we can step aside for some pie and some tea if you want. It's like, Earth ponies are the least racist. And I've been ignoring this, because this is all boring exposition that I fucking hate. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. You do make sure you have a suitable cheer for my performance. And here's the passive aggression. Oh, that's less passive aggressive than the English. The English, she was basically saying, Yeah, she practiced it a lot, but she can't fucking do it. Ugh, she sucks. Uh, I'm going to embarrass myself, aren't I? Pissy, these motherfuckers are all thick as shit and not realizing it, except for Rarity. And then Rarity takes the first chance to be like, Holy shit, I can beat Rainbow- I, I'm so pretty, I can beat Rainbow Dash with this shit! Fucker! I'm gonna steal the thunder! And ain't none of you motherfuckers gonna stop me! And the rest of them were like, I ain't gonna stop you motherfuckers. Everyone else is like, I ain't gonna stop this, fuck it. It's gonna be fun. Who will be the guinea pig? Caution, it may make you infertile forever. I get the feeling she knew what was coming up. She knew it would make her give her butterfly wings and shit. The Metamorphosis by Kafka. I'm a demon! Don't look at me! Be boldery! Speak crowdery! Ah, oh, Cloudsdale. I fucking love Cloudsdale, man. Like, if if I lived in, if I lived in Equestria and I was a pony, even if like I could just get ca that spell, that cloud walking spell cast on me, I would just fucking live in Cloudsdale because it is so fucking awesome looking. Let's go about the Sonic Rainbow. Also, oh, these are the most generic like Japanese bully voices. Every single Japanese fucking anime has these motherfuckers as a bully voice. Dekikaru! <laughs> this, is the same, this is the same three voices they use for every bully. Rainbow Crashery! I can't do a Sonic Rainbow, I'm incompetent. <laughs> Passive aggression returns! Just cause you failed 10,000 times! It's part, of, it's part of the reason I don't like this episode, but the reason Flutter, the fact Fluttershy is doing it... If it was just Fluttershy doing it, I'd be fine with it. Cause she's been shown to be passive aggressive. But everyone else, no. Larity! Wait, did you just say that's a bio? She just said that's a bio! Believe it! <laughs> Believe it, motherfuckers! 
Hey, look, it's Twilight Sparkle's balloon. I still like the edit where Pinky jumps out and falls through the clouds to her death. That was a pony anthology thing, I think. But I found a spell to make wings, but uh, Rarity activated bitch mode so she wouldn't let me do it on anyone else. Ah well. Nervous? You? Shut the fuck up, Blue Fast. Ah, uh, that's Dale. So awesome. I just love cities and clouds. Like, especially cities made out of clouds. Absolutely brilliant. I just love that aesthetic. Well, no shit, it's the Pegasus fucking home world, basically. He's using a jackhammer on a cloud. <laughs> are they real or are they fake? Also, I don't... I don't think Twilight... No, Twilight didn't mention what they were made of. They are made of silk and gossamer. She didn't mention that there. I wonder why. She just said, oh, they're fucking delicate. Welcome to the Rainbow Factory. This is where we grind up rejects and turn them into rainbows. Hey! She said handmade! My immersion! My immersion! Damn it, Marshmallow Horse, you fucked up. Winter wrap up, winter wrap up. We make them out of the souls of failed children. Hmm. Tastes like lost innocence. And shitty grimdark. Wow, I can see your crotch tits from here. Are they fake too? <laughs> but they're butterfly wings, you what the fuck? Doesn't even make sense. Seriously. A city made out of clouds, the most efficient fucking thing. Just... They could they could expand Cloudsdale forever, basically. The Pegasi could have millions and millions and millions and millions of babies, all in one go. And all they gotta do is, get some, is build, make some fucking clouds. Just make some clouds and just build, build some houses and shit for them. Aww, oh, that wasn't a wahaha. Fuck you, Japan. Fuck you, Japan. Oh, wait. In Japan, this is what you use to point. I'm pointing at you, Japan. Hey, Granny Smith's Pegasus cousin. NANI?! See, watch, no one is going to be supportive. This is why I hate this episode. Oh, they cut it they cut it short, I think. Did they cut it short? I could have sworn there's more to that. I saw a unicorn! <laughs> oh god, I know that voice! I know that voice! Oh, it's from a racing anime! Shit! Ah! Oh, that's from a racing anime! I don't even watch fucking anime, so I can't place it! But I was on an anime in Toonami once! Ah! Oh. Wonder Buttery! 
It was like an anime on Toonami. And I watched some subs of it online, and I completely forget what it was, but it was a racing anime. I think they had giant mechas as well. Also, it's just a generic race announcer voice, so you probably just hire the same guy for everything. There's only like seven voice actors in Japan. I never understood this. You think it'd be easy? You think it'd be easier to? What? What? What the fuck does that say? What does that say? Hmm. I'm I'm really confused. Were they explaining Rome Roman numerals to Well not Roman uh Romanized numerals to Japanese kids, but the Japanese use Roman style numbers anyway. I am super fucking confused right now. Hey, it's slutty rarity! I'm gonna buy that figurine and put it on my- <laughs> Number 15 it is! Rock and roll is now canon, by the way. It's Kago! Or whatever the fuck she said, I don't know. Wow. Forgot how fucking shit this. 70. 70 kilometers, Mark 5.3? Are they giving speed readouts? Are they giving speed readouts? Is it- Is she gonna go Sonic Rainboom and then I'm just gonna see Mach 10 at the top of the screen? Is that what they're gonna be? Is that what I'm gonna see? Oh god, they're gonna kill me! One million years dungeon! Unacceptable! What the fuck is that shit at the top? Sonic Rain Boomer! Look at me! Look at me! I need your attention! Please! Look at me! And there's the 5.3 again. Where is wings burned? Let her die! Smack! Punch! Death! And now everyone dies. Well done, Rarity. You dumb bitch. <laughs> it's a crucified or harmony striker. If this were like an actual anime, that would have been an attack they used to defeat the big bad. They'd call it F Harmony Friendship Cannon or some shit. I don't know. Oh, also, all of them have broken bones now. Because they immediately went from like terminal velocity going straight down 
to Mach 10 going sideways. Sonia Garinbu! Oh wow, well, she can't actually. I'm not even gonna say it because Japanese Fluttershy, she can't emote the same way English Fluttershy can. She can't sound excited. That's weird! Like the actress, like. It's like they hired the actress before they realized, oh wait, she's gonna have to not be quiet in some scenes. Shit, the fuck are we gonna do? No, it's not alright! She was being a dumb bitch! Don't forgive her! Oh my god. It's why I hate this episode. Because Rarity has no negative thing at all. Oh, what? Spitfire sounds exactly like everyone else. That is a voice they have used for a main character, but I'm forgetting which one. <laughs> I know, because you suck! And also, you're a unicorn, so you disqualified, motherfucker. Didn't you wonder why you didn't see any griffins here? This is Cloudsdale! We're you- we're fucking Pegasus Supremacy- Pegasi Supremacists! I didn't learn shit! Everyone else has to learn shit! Exactly! I forgot- I forgot the rarity gives the lesson this time. I forgot that for a sec, I'm sorry. You can tell I don't like this episode that much, can't you? Let's see. Episodes episodes I don't like in season one. This one, Bird in the Hoof. Maybe the Gal episode? I have to watch it again. I don't know. I like the song. I like the song, but that's more of I remember of it. I'm gonna go fuck these two guys! Little Pony TV! Little Pony TV! Cutie Mark Crusaders, yes! Apple Bloomer! Scooter! And Sweetie Bear! Rarity! You sons of bitches! I didn't know they were even in the running! You bastards! Ah. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the bullshit now. So, you can probably tell that I'm not too big of a fan of Sonic Rainboom, can't you? You can probably tell that. <laughs> but, um... So, my issues with this, I've actually mentioned them before, actually, because I didn't do an analysis of this episode, but I did an analysis of episodes that people, that make people, like, join the fan and become fans of the episodes. And this is an episode that was the first episode I actually ever watched. And, um, it made me straight up say, no, this show isn't for me, because it's, it's absolutely terrible, like, like, the, the whole thing is supposed to be friendship, and then this this marshmallow-looking motherfucker is, is being a complete shit to the rainbow rainbow motherfucker, but the rainbow asshole is just as terrible. But nobody else is, 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 is stepping up and saying, Yo! Marshmallow bitch, what the fuck are you doing? And, like, and... I kind of liked how... F I kind of... Like, the only character I actually liked in that was Fluttershy, because she was being a little bit passive-aggressive, but at least she was at least a little bit supportive. And, uh, but by the end of it, I was like, no! Fuck this series! Fuck it! In the butt! And then later I watched Dragon Shy and I was like, oh... Maybe I should watch this. Cause this is actually pretty good. Maybe I just watched a dud. And that turned out to be the case, cause there's very few episodes in season one that I actually don't like. Very few. Like, to the point where season one is almost my favorite season. But it's not, because it's won out by uh, season three. Don't tell anyone that, though. He says on a YouTube, on a YouTube channel. 
Don't tell anyone, it's a secret, he says on a YouTube channel that anyone in their right mind, that anyone in any state of mind could see. I almost said anyone in their right mind. But no, if you're watching me do it, you're obviously not, because... Nah. Nah, fuck it, no. I'm not going there. I'm not insulting, I'm not insulting you guys, because I'm the asshole sitting here yelling at a computer screen for 20 minutes. Um... Yeah. So, can anyone explain to me the reason why, like, they would be so shitty? Because I, I'm so, I still don't get it, because it's like, they're supposed to be friends, and then this shit's going on. And uh, it just doesn't, it never made any sense to me why it's obviously important to Rainbow Dash, and Rainbow Dash is a little bit of a bitch in Season 1. I say a little bit of a bitch, she's a kind of a massive bitch in Season 1, that's kind of her character arc. But, but then Rarity, out of nowhere, becomes one of the biggest bitches. Like, she, I've said before that Rarity has never been the element of generosity, but she's also never been, like, straight up unlikable. But then in Sonic Rainboom, we see that, yeah, she's shallow, but she's also selfish and a right bitch. And then no one, no one ever comes up and says, yo, Rarity, fucking stop. Jesus Christ. Celestia Christ, even. <sighs> I don't get it. Either way, everybody. Well, we've been watching Sonic Rainbow with an exclamation mark in Japanese. Do. If you have anything you want to, if you have, if you have, if you have anything you want me to uh, react to or let's play or review slash anal an an analyze and analyze that's a word now and analyze. Leave that down in the commentaries. Um. And just leave a comment saying hi, even if you don't. Just, I like hearing from you guys. Say hi. Just, just, because I'm saying hi, hi. Um. Yeah, so, you know, um, if you want to follow me on the Twitter, that's down in the description, as always. Along with the Tumblr I never use. Yep, I should probably take that out of the description now to think about it, but I'm not going to. And, yeah, remember to like, comment, favorite, subscribe. As always, I am not Vex, and I will... See you around, my friend Arus.